go forward. Hey guys, welcome back after a long period away from the war room. Now, I wanted to do a quick video for you guys. A while back, I received a package, and it's been a little while now, from our good friend Black Dog Bob over at Minotaur Trading Company. Uh, Black Dog Bob has an interest in military history just like I do. He's an ex-Marine, and he knows the quick World War II stuff. So he found this and thought I would find it interesting um, and cool to add to my collection, which I most certainly absolutely do. And I'm sure most of you guys, even if you're um, into World War II history, World War II reenacting, some of you guys may know what this is, but a lot of you guys may not know what this is. And I'm going to be honest, it took me a little research to just find out kind of the background on these things. And what this is, is a World War II Russian shoe mine. Okay, there's a couple of reasons why it's called a shoe mine, and there's a long history behind shoe mines, and we're just going to hint on it to keep from making a long video. What a shoe mine is, is basically a wooden box with an explosive in it like TNT, and what they would do, they would rig up fuses through these holes and put the TNT inside, make it ready to detonate, set it in the ground, cover it with leads, whatever, uh, dirt, and when an enemy soldier comes through, they step on the top of this thing and it detonates. Now, there's not a lot of explosives usually in these things, and it's just enough to seriously injure or even sometimes kill the enemy soldiers. Uh, but these were very feared, and there's a lot of reasons behind that. You know, let's get into it. So we're going to deviate from the Russian shoe mine into the German shoe mine to give you understanding about what it is you're looking at. Now, when I was researching the Russian shoe mines, I couldn't find a whole lot, but I found a ton of information on the German shoe mines, which operates the same as that way that the Russian shoe mines did. During World War II, the German army come up with a lot of different warfare inventions that was really feared, and some of which, which was just horrible. But one of the things that the Allies did fear most was the Schutzen mining 42. And... The Schutzen Mine in 42, or Schumann Mine, was a German mine that was developed. It was made from a wood box, just like this one. They look very similar, um, even though this is Russian. And inside, they would have TNT components, which would lie right here, have a fuse coming out through the hole. And they would run that fuse through this hole, through this hole. And once the enemy soldier stepped on it, well... He's gone. And they didn't pack a whole lot of punch, like I said earlier. They they had a very limited amount of TNT in here because you couldn't fit a whole lot in here. But the thing that made these so dangerous is the minesweepers, as they would come through, a lot of times wouldn't detect these until it was too late because it's made out of wood. There's very little metal in it. And once they're able to detect it, well, they've already stepped on it and it's killed them. The best way the Allies figured out how to get these things found and out of the way, it was by using bomb-sniffing dogs. Yes, during World War II, the Allies did use canines to sniff out mines and different explosives. And that was one way that the Allies developed a way to um, find these things from the Germans. Now, of course, this is a Russian. Now, is this original? I don't know. I don't think so. But it could be. I, I just don't think it is. But it's still a really cool example of a shoe mine. Now, with this, what kind of threw me for a loop when Black Dog Bob sent it to me is it come with a lot of different components that would be used to operate this shoe mine. And now all of these components are, in fact, real. Um, I don't know if you can quite see a lot of this on camera. They're very small. Uh, there's not a whole lot of room to maneuver these things around for you to see them. But there is, in fact, a, a lot of components that would have went into this Russian shoe mine. And some of these are marked. This is marked RRG. I don't know if you can even see it. But, yeah, uh, this one's marked as well, but it's very faded. Now, don't ask me what the components in these pieces are. I just know they're 
things that was used to operate the mine, such as these springs and different screw bits and bearings, and of course, probably was the detonation source uh, that would run through this front hole here and then out the uh, end, and once they step on it, kaboom. Now, the thing that threw me for the loop in this, and I know in fact this is original, is when I opened this bag up, when I got it from Black Dog Bob, I noticed this. And what this is, is a World War II German clothing tag. I don't know how it got mixed in with all of this stuff. Maybe a collector put it in here. I don't know, but I thought it was really cool. So uh, there you go, a World War II German clothing tag that was included in the bag here. And I just thought it was very neat. But anyway, it's very cool to have one of these add to the collection and to the displays. I don't know when I will use this in an event, really. Um, it's more of a display piece for me and a very neat display piece of that. But it's always cool to have a piece of World War II history that a lot of people recognize or even think about. So if you guys are more schooled in Russian shoe mines than I am, there's a lot of reenactors and World War II buffs that watch this channel. Feel free in the comment section below to leave some information, maybe some links for me to go read about them, and uh, let me know. And that's just reminding you guys what this channel is all about. It's about exploring history, learning history together. Not all of us know everything. We're steadily and completely, constantly learning all the time. And this is a new one for me. Black Dog Bob, thank you so much. Guys, next on the channel, we will be coming up with a very cool uh, review on a brand new, brand new, well, I don't want to give away. It's a brand new item that um, is out there that is geared towards reenactors. And it's a cool piece of World War II history that is not being uh, reproduced, but is remanufactured. So you're not going to miss the next video. Stay tuned, guys. We'll see you soon. Until next time, keep preserving history. Stay safe. We'll see you next time.